Welcome back to Real Real Reviews. This is Cody Williams, and we're here to talk about the movie Ghost Ship. Oh boy, oh boy, I can't believe I'm talking about one of my favorite horror movies of all time. It isn't a very scary horror movie by any means, but it's more of a gateway horror movie. What I mean by that is that it's a movie to introduce someone that's completely new to the horror genre. It's enough to wet their feet without getting completely getting too scared or getting completely grossed out. The movie is rated R, so you do get some bloody moments and disturbing moments as well in the movie, but it's nothing that will make you lose your appetite over. It's just a very fun movie that has a high amount of rewatchability. I have seen this movie way too many times to count. It's ridiculous. I try to watch this movie at least once a year, and it never loses its charm as it's spooky fun. These type of movies are my favorite and I love a good ghost story. Enough of that, let's talk about the movie's story. Ghost Ship follows a group of boat salvagers as they celebrate saving a sinking boat before they go home. While at the bar, this random guy entices them to find a long lost abandoned cruise liner from the 60s, the Antonio Graza. They all agree to help, they journey out and eventually find the boat. As they board it, spooky things start happening, one thing after another. There is so much good stuff that this movie has to offer. It has one of the best opening scenes that ultimately hypes you up for the rest of the film, and it just, it involves a cable. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. It's definitely an intense scene. The movie's set design on board the ghost ship looks fantastic. Everything looks beat up rusty and the attention to detail make the boat's interior and exterior shots looks the way it is is nothing but astounding the movie soundtrack really captures the eerie tone of the movie perfectly and composer john frizzle does a fantastic job with it one music piece in particular from the soundtrack which is considered my favorite is the one that plays during a flashback montage scene during the film's climax the whole soundtrack in its entirety is very good and eerie. While we're on the subject of soundtrack, the song that's sung at the beginning of the movie, well, let's just say the last time I went on a vacation on a cruise ship, that same song played over the intercom. It was cool and spooky at the same time. There are so many good actors in this movie. You have Gabrielle Byrne, who you may know from the horror movie Hereditary, you have Carl Orban from the Lord of the Rings movies, and also a young Emily Browning, who you may know from Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events and Zack Snyder's Sucker Punch. Other than them, I'm not familiar with the rest of the film's cast, but they all did a great job. Even though some of the dialogue in the movie can be a little bit hammy, they did a fantastic job with what they were given with. Without going into spoilers, I really enjoy the film's subplot, which involves the past of the ghost ship before it got lost at sea, and that makes for a very fun time figuring everything out. In the majority, everything is explained in exposition scenes. I'm not generally a fan of having everything explained, because I like having some mystery in movies like these. The way it was handled in this movie, it was perfect. Not everyone will agree with me on this, but... I thought this was a solid ghost story movie overall. Sure, it may have some questionable dialogue scattered throughout and has a little bit of cliche moments, but at least it's not to the point where it's completely unbearable. The movie may not be 100% perfect, but it's still very fun to watch. I give this movie an A-. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Keep up with my real reviews.